Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Talal and today I'll be talking about the importance of your score reports. Now guys, you know when you go for the SAT, your score reports are very important, right? When it comes to your, especially when it comes to your practice, I'd say your score reports are your gold mines. And I've mentioned this in my previous videos as well. Obviously, they were not specifically about uh, the score reports, but this video we'll be talking about, you know, specifically uh, on your score reports, right? So guys, when you go for the SAT, whether you are going for the actual test or you are going for the practice test on the blue book, uh, you will get score reports in different ways, right? You will get a detailed score report in which, you know, you will have all the questions that you have done and the rights and the wrongs for every question. Then you will have a component wise score report as well, in which you will have the four sections from the reading and writing and the four sections from your math. And, you know, it will tell in a, you know, sort of a percentage way how much questions that you have done wrong in your, you know, reading and writing section and how many questions you have done right or wrong maybe in your math section. So that is again very important. Now all the score reports that you get, whether it is the summarized version that tells you, you know, the only the scores or, or the number of rights and wrongs or the detailed version or this component wise version, you have to take all of these score reports very seriously. Why? Because many students, they just focus on the practice tests when, you know, it comes to their improvement, when they want to, you know, uh, increase their scores. While in actual sense, when you, you know, look at it, the reason behind your score improvement will always be your score reports. And there are many students who actually know this fact, right? So if you really want to, you know, improve your scores, you have to really focus on your score reports. So how to do that? That is a very important and pertinent question, right? So you have to understand you cannot increase your score until and unless you get a hold of the questions that you are doing wrong, right? And it's only your score report that is going to tell you that. So what you should do is, you know, when you are done with solving your practice test, especially when you're doing, you know, that practice before the test, uh, go to your score reports and see the questions that you are doing wrong, right? Now, everyone has some uh, weak part. Everyone has some strong part. Just make sure that you are not, you know, for example, if you're getting a score of 1250 and you want a score of 1450 or you want a score of 1500, it should not be like, you know, you are just wavering around uh, in generic sense and, you know, just shouting out that I'm not getting a score. I want to increase my score. I want to increase my score. I just can't do that. It won't help. Why? Because you don't know where you need that improvement. Your score reports will give, give you that, you know, leverage or, you know, uh, that room where you can analyze what your wrong parts are. So, for example, if I analyze my score report of maybe two or three tests that I have solved, and if I see that I am continuously doing the questions in the information on and ideas wrong, or if I'm doing, you know, the questions in craft and structure continuously wrong, or if I'm getting, you know, uh, the algebra questions wrong or the trigonometry questions wrong, right? I, I would know exactly what the problem is, right? So if this is my recurring error, and if these are the questions that I'm getting wrong, I won't be just, you know, thinking vaguely that I want to increase, I'll have a plan. Right. I would know that if I work on these questions, I can actually do and get that improvement. Right. And that is how students actually do get the improvement. Right. So if you, you know, understand this and if you get a hold of this and if you start working on the questions that you are doing wrong, you can actually, you know, incre increase the score that, you know, that you were you weren't able to do. Right. So analyzing your score reports will give you the improvement that you want. So all of you who just want that improvement, it is, you know, your score report that will give you that improvement. Just analyze your score reports, see what is recurring, look at the errors that are recurring, right? Work on them topically then, right? And, you know, for example, if you are making mistakes in craft and structure, maybe it's the vocabulary that's the problem, or maybe it's the cross-text connection questions that is the problem. Whatever X, Y, Z is the problem, you have to get through that problem. Go on it topically, solve the questions that are related to that particular questions topically. And once you feel you are, you know, good with it, now you can do it better. Then you can come back to the practice test and, you know, you can, you know, when you do this and you, you'll, you'll obviously when you come back to the practice test and when you see that particular question, you'll make a conscious effort not to do that wrong. 
and you know once you do that enough once you do that with two three practice tests and you analyze every score report you'll see automatically your scores improve right so that was it for today's video please analyze the score reports if you want the improvement and you'll see if you do that enough you will get the improvement that you really want thank you so much